Over 50 years ago, in her novel Atlas Shrugged, author Ayn Rand posed the question, in a United States with ever-increasing government regulation, corruption, and taxation to support a permanent welfare class of voter, what would happen if the targets of that government simply refused and dropped out of the system? If you're a young person or on the government dole and sick of it, this film's for you. There's a whole alternate economy forming of people who are going into business for themselves with old machinery. And here we go. If you were going the corn milling route, here we have virtually any kind of machine ready to go. All you'd have to do would be to clean it up, set it up, and start milling. Now I have been told that the best of the best in uh, grinding, milling, corn shelling, whatever it is, was made by A. H. Hatch. That's the name to look for, and that's the name I'd look for if I were going to go that route. You know, and the, the good thing about this is there's guys here that will tell you how to do it, how to run it, how to fix it and all the parts and everything are at these old shows. Now this is kind of an interesting way of doing it. We've got a hopper here that we can load our ears of corn into and it'll take them right down into the chute. We can either hand crank it or there's the sheller or mechanize it over there and it'll take and shell our corn. Now from there we're dumping our corn kernels into a, a hopper, into a miller, and we actually adjust the fineness of the grind right here. There's two gears in here that work it, and we take and we're turning out either flour or cornmeal or grits whatever we want to do however fine we want to adjust it or what we want to adjust it for now here's your fineness for grits right here see they've been grinding different things here's another grinder you can see the fineness of the grind down here it's been being driven by a John Deere hit and miss engine just had a Pioneer Park, Pioneer Days, they happen all over the country and they're taking these products, now they got these machines for little or nothing, they're taking bagging up the, uh, the materials and selling them in a finished product. Now what we have here are ice cream churns and this was the 1900s circa way, late 1800s, 1900s way of making ice cream. This, you add your milk down here and this churns it and your ice is on top. You see right here we're turning the ice down into the cream and we'll get ice cream out of that. Now if you're looking to run something, this is a way that gets a lot of attention, brings a lot of folks around. You could run your ice cream churn or anything with that. Milling machines, cutting machines, and uh, have your own display and sell the product. All right, here we go. We were just talking about this. Here these folks are selling ice cream. They're taking and churning it. And here they, now get this, it's 52 degrees and they're sitting in here eating ice cream. But uh, they've got kind of an old engine. Makes a good bit of noise when it bangs. Now this collector here may, may fool you a little bit. All this is doing is it's, is it's taking and uh, it's a radiator. It's 
putting water right back into the engine so it can run all day without a refill because they can't they can't always look at it. Here they are, they're taking this product over here, they're scooping it out, and they're selling it to folks who are lined up. And it, I'm telling you, it is a cold day here. Ice to exit Eskimo. So, uh, now let's have a little lesson here. We have the cost of the machine over here, the ice bucket, all the parts, everything included. And over here, we have the price that we sell the ice cream for, our profit, if you will. What is in between here is created wealth. The government didn't do it. Wealth is created, and that is classic capitalism. What we have now at the highest levels in the corporate world is crony capitalism, where they contribute it to a, whatever political party they think is going to get in. And that political party shields them by regulating the competition and not them. And uh, therefore, shares them a profit or no competition at all. Now that's crony capitalism, and that is not what our country was founded on. Some are choosing to rebuild the old machinery. Parts are ubiquitous throughout the United States and sell them. All these are for sale. Alright, here we have a hit and miss engine with a belt drive. See the camshaft working. That would be an attention getter. That's the kind of thing you need, something that draws attention. People are taking the skills they learned in other industries and bringing them here, making various kinds of products. Now here we're taking ironware, the most notable name is Griswold. And we're just taking repackaging things of the past, putting them out there for sale. People are merely tearing down old houses, scrapping the contents, and bringing out the old workings. Now, if you're a faceter, these are, these are works of art in and of themselves. But these are crystal doorknobs, and uh, they make absolutely stunning faceted material to work with. Here we have seashell products. Now a lot of these things are bought from uh, Pelham Grayson up in Connecticut. But they're doing a brisk business with it even here in Florida. So this is thinking outside the box. And uh, if this is for you, I'll show you uh, what you look for in a show, any show, whatever show you're, you know, genre you're thinking about doing. What we have here is the farm collector show directory. Now there's show directories for any kind of thing that you can think of, whether it be medieval shows or, or art shows or any kind of show, they're going to have a directory. What you want to look for, see we got the 37th annual Knox County, that'd be a show worth going to. You know it's not a first annual type thing. They've got a track record. They're bringing people in. Uh, you've got uh, annual fall shows, 44th annual steam show. That'd be a good one to look for. They've got 44 years of record. And these shows are growing due to the economy. I've seen, uh, I've seen them literally double in size over the past two years. 
more and more people are deciding to do this. Now this is truly thinking outside the box what these people are doing to uh, not only make money an alternative economy and protect their wealth from being redistributed but if this is for you you know there's not only these kinds of shows there's a medieval show there's any kind of number of shows springing up and they're they are just going like gangbusters uh, oddly the seems the administration that's trying to stamp out capitalism is creating it <laughs>